Welcome to this Selenium WebDriver tutorial on capabilities in Selenium and other topics like workspace, schedule and settings. What are capabilities? Capabilities in Selenium WebDriver are features for cross-browser testing. Capabilities Selenium 4 are used to set the platform, browser and version to create a new Selenium session. Actually capabilities are the new recommended way to set up Selenium testing instead of the earlier class called desired capabilities in Selenium WebDriver. Now let me show you how to handle capabilities in this Selenium tutorial. I am logging in using my free account in Maxstaff Cloud. Then I select the project that I have already created and click on the add case button. Now I am going to call my case as capabilities in selenium 4 and choose the template as selenium hello world and click on the create button. The Maxstaff cloud has created the case. I am going to click on the script tab here. This setup method as you can see is a before method. That means it is run before any test method. So here we can see that there is a variable for mutable capabilities and it is called caps. Now let me put a single line comment here. Get desired capabilities in Selenium 4. Now it is possible to get a capability or a feature using the get method. So let me print it out. I am going to write a java print statement system.out.println and there are many capabilities. One of them is browser name. So I am going to print that. browser name is this is just my string plus is for adding two strings in java and i can use the caps variable caps dot and here you can see that there are so many get methods get browser name get browser version get version get platform get platform name etc so i will use get browser name here so this should give me the browser name of the base capabilities where it is coming from. Now let me run this Selenium with Java code. I'll click on save to save the case. Then compile it to see if there are any errors or not and to generate the compiled files and click on the run button and click run again. Now Maxstaff Cloud has completed the case execution and I can see the output of system.out.println in the console output pane and it, here it says browser name is Chrome. So it is using the Chrome browser that I can verify by viewing the video also. So let me open the video and here we can see that it is using the Chrome browser and close the run details also. Now capabilities is one of Selenium 4 features. So as I mentioned browser name is just one capability. There are other capabilities in Selenium 4 and their names are browser version, platform name, page load strategy, accept insecure certificates and timeouts for script, page load, and implicit weight. Let me put another single line comment. Selenium for new features and I can change the browser name so caps dot instead of get I'll use set method. So 
the method is set capability and i have to give the capability name so the capability name is browser name in camel case and the value that i want to give is firefox and i don't need the previous print statement because i am changing the browser anyway and i'll go to the test method and remove all these lines of code just leave the driver dot get so the case execution is really fast now let me run this selenium java code so save it compile it run it click on the run button again maxf cloud has started the case execution if i go to the video it should have used the firefox browser that we can see here let me close this now using capabilities selenium automation will fail if selenium 4 is unable to create a new session with the capabilities that have been set so let us say that i have set the capability of browser as firefox and let me set the browser version also which is not available in the test environment and see what happens so caps dot set capability and this time i'm going to use the browser version and let me take the value as the latest 101 save compile and run the case so the result is a fail here and let me see what is the error it could not start a new session so if the test environment doesn't have that capability it will fail to create a new session so that we have to keep in mind let me close this and comment out these lines here using multi line comment now capabilities in selenium are saved in a json object if you don't know what is json you can view my json tutorial so let me print the default capabilities that are being used by maxstaff cloud in this case including chrome options in selenium web driver so i can use system dot out dot print ln statement of java and print caps dot and convert it to a string and put a semicolon at the end of the statement save compile the case and run it the case execution should be complete very quickly and it should have printed all the capabilities in the console output so let me select all and copy it and paste it in notepad so here we can see that it has printed the capabilities so the browser name is chrome there is a capability enable vnc that is true and here are the chrome options there are no arguments extensions and there is a setting quite exceptions is true you have to keep in mind that there are shared capabilities that are common to all browsers then there are capabilities that are specific to chromium browsers so the chromium browsers are chrome chromium and edge browser and there are other specific capabilities for firefox internet explorer and safari browsers separately the next topic in this selenium web driver tutorial is 
the Maxstaff Cloud's workspace. So workspace is a feature to manage your projects, folders and files. So let me show you workspace. So it is in the navigation pane. Click on workspace. And it has two panes here. So on the left, this is a file tree pane. And on the right, this bigger pane is the editing pane. So you can expand it and there are folders for different languages like java javascript python etc so let us expand the java folder and here src folder is for the source files and target folder is for the compiled files so here in src there is test and it has so for example this is the file that I just worked on so you can right click on any file and you have the option to rename it delete it download it to your local computer open it copy cut and see the properties so let me select this file search.java that I showed in the previous test suite tutorial and right click on it and click on open this is going to open it in the editing pane here and I can make some changes here so add a couple of dots here and within this editor it's possible to save the file so let me save it and then there is the option to compile the file also so I can compile it from within this editor and I can also run this Java file it is useful to work in the workspace directly if you have to make edits to a lot of your files or you have to create folders or you have to upload files or download files you can do all that without going through the cases UI you can do all that in the workspace only so let me close this run details and this file to show you more of the file tree pane here is the maven folder so this has all the components so we can see all kinds of components here there is pom.xml so this is the page object model file which has all the dependencies information that you require to run your test case Maxstaff Cloud's schedule is a feature to schedule any test case or test suite to execute but one schedule can have only one item in it so if you want to schedule a group of test cases you can put those test cases in a test suite and schedule that test suite you can view my previous test suite tutorial to learn more so in order to launch the schedule I can click on the schedule link here in the navigation pane and there are no schedules at this time click on the create button and first I have to give the schedule name so I can say this is search schedule and here select the case or suite click on that so let me select this search case so let me give the schedule timing and click on this edit icon I can schedule it on a daily basis, weekly basis, monthly basis or day of the week, Monday to Friday etc but let me schedule it on a daily basis so I am going to put it at 6.15 p.m. and click on the save button 
and click on create so now if I go to schedule there is a search schedule and here it says its item is search which is a case and it was not run before and the next run date is at 6.15 in the evening so let me pause the video and I'll play it when it starts running it is 6.15 let me click on refresh and here we can see that the last run date has come here and I can go to the run log and see that the search case has been run at 6.15 pm so click on search and it should have printed something in the console output running search case now let me go back to the schedule and create another schedule for a test suite so click on the create button and I am going to call it all schedule and this time I am going to select a suite so click on the suites tab and I have two suites that I showed in my test suite tutorial so I'll click on the all suite it has three cases in it and run it at so I'll run it at 618 and click on the save button and click on create so now if I go to schedule it should have all schedule also so let me keep it open or go to the run log and refresh it so it is 618 now and you can see that the suite execution has started refresh again and the suite has been executed I can click on it and go to the run details so I should be able to see the three cases search place order and track order that have been run MaxDraft cloud has a settings feature for project settings and user settings so let me show you the settings in MaxDraft cloud so this is the settings and I can expand it and go to project so here there are some tabs here so I can give the project name and give some description say I give project 1 description that is meaningful and I can export the project import the project and specify the users in the project etc so here in this project I am the only user and I can add more users by clicking on the add user button and type their email and click on add then there is the user settings and here since I am an ordinary user I don't have the settings but if you are an administrator you can give the settings for other users here so that's all in this selenium testing tutorial please view all my selenium tutorials in this selenium training to learn Selenium easily with examples that you can practice. Thank you.